Hi guys, this is Karthik. In this video, I'll be discussing the traveling salesman problem. And we'll be discussing how you could actually apply DP with bitmasking to this problem so that you can come up with an efficient solution. By efficient, I mean a solution which is much better than the brute force, but it is still exponential since this is an NP hard problem. So the problem says that there is a salesman and he's initially at some city number 31. From And there are, there are overall n number of cities. This salesman would like to visit each of these cities exactly once and he will start from his home city that is city number 1 and he should visit each of the cities from 2 to n exactly once and come back to the original city okay. So it's basically going to be a tour going from city to city and once he has visited all the cities he will be coming back home. Now the idea is that between every pair of two cities there is a distance between them. So there is a distance between a pair of cities i and j. So there will be some distance from 1 to 2, some from 1 to n and something like that. So you will be having a n cross n matrix maybe and you will have okay what is the distance starting from city number 1 to 1 to so on till n. So distance of 1 comma 5 will give you distance between city number 1 and 5. And let's say you have something like this as your input and what you like to do is you like to design a tour for the guy so that overall distance for him is minimized and he still manages to visit all the cities exactly once and start and he should start from city number one and land back at city number one only. So to give you guys an example I will be using the internet since I don't want to draw out huge examples okay. So we can take this example from here. Uh, the idea is that if you start from city number one, you have a lot of options where, should, where you should go next. And there will exist exactly uh, like there will exist a way so that overall distance traveled is minimized. So let's think about a few possibilities from city number one, the salesman could go to two, then three, then four and one, or he could choose some other path one, three, three, four, 4, 2 and then back to 1. So something like this alright. And among all these possible tours, we have to choose uh, like what is the minimum possible distance that the guy might get to travel. Just we all we need to do is we need to find out the minimum distance this traveling sales guy has to uh, travel so that he fulfills all the conditions. So let's think of a solution now. So of the top of the head, of course, there exists a brute force solution and in the brute force solution, you could simply try out all the possibilities. So from city number one, you have n options for to select the next city or oh, actually n minus one. Then uh, like from city number one, you will be visiting some other city and then you will have remaining n minus two cities and you could choose uh, among those you could choose any to visit next. So you have n minus two more options. And finally, it's basically n minus 1 factorial. Right. So for the brute force solution, if you try out all the possible tools, you can come up with a big O of n factorial solution. But of course, this is really poor. Even for small n, this thing will not work. Like even for values of n up to 10 or 11, this thing will not work. So let's try to come up with something better that it works for at least like 50, uh, 30 cities maybe or 25 cities. So let's work on that. So let's see how we can actually apply DP to this. Let me clear this thing out. And now you have, you are uh, currently at city number one. Okay. And you have visited no city yet. So you would like to visit uh, all the cities, city number two, three and so on till city number n. You would like to visit all these cities. You are currently at, at city number one. For the next, uh, like, for the next city to visit from city number one, you could choose either of these, right? So let's see what happens if I choose to go to city number two from one. So if I choose to go to city number two after city number one, I will be at city number two then. And I would still need to visit all the cities from 3 to n. Right. 
and of course in the end i also need to go back to city number one so once this set has become empty here that is the point where i will be going back to city number one anyway we will consider that later so this is one possibility i could have gone to city number two and this would have costed me distance between one and two starting from this city i would like to go uh, visit all these cities in this particular set and then get back to city number one for doing that i would like to minimize the overall distance right the overall distance that i travel given that i start from city number two and i need to visit all these cities and get back to city number one all right i could have chosen the other option as well i could have gone to city number three instead right that would have costed me a distance of the distance between city number one and three since i'm going from one to three and then i would be on city number three and i would like to visit all the cities that are city number one uh, like sorry not three one I still need to visit all the cities 2, 4, 5 and so on till n. Since 3 I have already visited and I would like to visit the cities represented by this particular set from starting from city number 3 and visiting all these and after visiting these particular cities I would like to go back to city number 1. So among all the uh, like these this particular thing I will be having n such options. So hopefully this thing is clear till now. So with this much intuition till here, let me define a DP state. Let's define DP of I comma capital S. Here S is, a, is an entire set. And I is the city I'm currently at. So I define DP of I to be the minimum distance that you need to travel. minimum distance needed to travel given that you are at city number i so you are currently at city i and you need to visit all the cities represented by the set capital S so I will not be writing it it takes some time so hopefully speaking is enough so DPIS means the minimum distance that you need to travel given that you are currently at city number i and you need to visit the cities represented by the set capital S. So DP of IS is clear. What, what will be my final answer supposing that I can actually evaluate this thing. So if I can evaluate this thing my answer is simply going to be what is the minimum cost needed to travel the cities represented by the set S equal to 2, 3, 4 so on till n given that I am initially at the city number 1. And also let me add one more condition and get back to city number one. Right. This is an extra condition. You have to get back to city number one. So your final answer will simply be. And this should hopefully make some sense. This will be your final answer by definition. Now let's build up a recurrence for this thing. And if you're able to do it, uh, we are done. We solved an NP hard problem anyway so let's build up a recurrence for dpi comma capital S and so from city number i I have some options of going to the next city so I could visit city number j given that j is in the set capital S so among all the possible options let us just try them all and whichever gives you a smaller better answer you take that so if I try to go from city i to city j, first of all, I will be traveling a distance i comma j, right? That's okay. After that, I have gone from city i to city j. This means I have visited city number j. So I can happily remove that from my set, right? So s will become s minus j. Because j has been visited, you don't need to visit it again. So that's cool. And now I'm at city number j. So from city J, I would like to visit all the cities represented by this set capital S except for J itself and get back to city number one using the minimum traveling uh, given that I travel the minimum distance, isn't it? So I'm sorry. That is by definition nothing but DP of J 
comma s minus j. That's it. And among all these possible j's, you will be choosing minimum among all valid j. And the interesting thing once again, how do you represent this set s in your dp state? You will use bit masks, simple as that. You will use bit masks to set the uh, to make this bit off the j bit off. You will use simple and or or operations. You can watch my first video for that. And we're done. This is your recurrence. Let's analyze the space and time complexities. So this particular set s will be represented as a bit mask in memory. So if there are n cities, you will be using two to the power n dimensions here. Uh, basically, this dimension will be of size two power n. If there are n cities. And if there are n cities, this will have n, n particular options. So overall space complexity is n into 2 power n. But time complexity is n squared 2 power n. And why is that? Transition time here is big O of n. For that, you can watch my basic elements of DP video. And we're done, guys. That's it. This is the this is how you solve traveling salesman problem. If you get time, do make sure that you write a code for it. It will be very easy and similar to the previous code. And you can share it with me in the comments. It will be helpful for others as well. So thanks for watching guys. And from next video onwards, I will be making like from code chef and code forces taking some DP with bit masking problems. I hope till now your concepts have uh, got stronger and then we'll be solving more better problems. So thanks for much watching. Make sure that you like, share and subscribe. Yeah, do subscribe.